Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got part two of a two part series of where we dive in and look at one of our agency client websites. So in the previous video, we touched on the process that we took in order to design the visual composition for this business website and how we got it to a place where the customers were happy, but also we were remedying some of the problems that they were having with their previous website. Now today we're gonna to be taking that a step further and we're gonna be showing you behind the scenes within Elementor of how this has been built and how easy it is for the customers to use, um, but also how we've uh, provided solutions to the problems that they were having with their previous website. Now, before we dive into this, please remember to hit that like button, hit subscribe as well, I really appreciate it. Over 80% of you guys watching haven't yet subscribed, which is madness, so make sure you go and do that. Also, there's a new Facebook group available if you wanna join that, there is a link down in the description. If you do wanna join, it's a community of like like-minded people all trying to improve their website design game all of which use WordPress and Elementor as their web design tool so if you do want access request access answer all of the questions otherwise I will not let you in it's an exclusive group and I just need to make sure that everyone that is entering the group is vetted so you know we can keep the community quite nice and tight and just full of awesome people now without further ado let's just dive straight in so here we've got their website homepage, and just to give you a recap, this is currently how it looks. Yeah, you know, we've got a large title here telling people that it's a dog-friendly holiday cottages business. So basically, that's a value proposition. So what is this company offering? They're offering dog-friendly holiday cottages, which is great. Now here we've got a book now, book your stay button, and this button's quite large because essentially the main aim is to increase bookings coming through from the website. And we're gonna to touch on more of this in a minute. Now, again, we're just recapping here, but we've got a nice bit of parallax here as we scroll just to keep things interesting when people scroll down the page. But aside from that, everything is incredibly minimal. We've got nice hover effects on these blocks here. They don't actually click anywhere, but again, it just keeps the page interesting. Like so, so there is a recap of the homepage. Now moving on to the elemental side where you get to actually see how this has been constructed and how it's been built. Um, but essentially we've got a large hero section here and we've tucked this up underneath our navigation to give this nice overlap effect here. Now this button is a reusable global widget and the reason why we did that is to create visual design consistency and also they're all linking to the same place so it would basically meant that if we ever needed to change that URL or that link we only have to do it once and it's gonna change all the buttons around the site which from a build perspective is, is awesome. Uh, and it just means that we have much less chance of having any broken links around the site in the future, which is great for the customer. Now, one of the problems that the business had with their previous website was not being able to update it very easily to the point in which they never actually decided to update their content because they found it so difficult. And actually what Elementor has allowed us to do is give them a nice visual um, representation of the website. And if they do wanna change any content, all they have to do is click and change the piece of content that they like. So if we're clicking this title here, you'll see that it's loading up on the left and they can just uh, make any changes here. Like so, deleting the text on the left-hand side and also deletes it on the right. So that's really useful, I'm just gonna undo that. And again, paragraph text works in exactly the same way. You can click inside the text, find the words or the information that you wanna change and they can just change it, which is fantastic. So the entire page has been built up of all of these widgets, which is fantastic. From a web designer's perspective, it's, it's really quite easy to start building these websites. You don't really need a lot of experience in terms of how to use uh, coding tools and things like that. You can actually use Elementor to construct some really beautiful looking websites that's gonna allow you to start helping business owners solve their problems through a website. So yeah, that's a huge positive from my perspective. So we are using Elementor Pro here, which has meant that we can create a global header and a footer, and this is gonna spit these out on every single page throughout the site, which again creates that brand and website consistency, which also then delivers a great user experience to anyone that is visiting the site. Now another way that we've been able to really add value to this customer with their new website is by giving them a very simplified gallery. It was really important for them to be able to upload images to their website on a regular basis, 
from people that have stayed at their cottages and sent them videos and images and things like that they just wanted to be able to upload it to their website for others to see and previously they weren't able to do that but again with Elementor we've been able to implement the gallery widget which is just one widget within our list we can drag that in we've styled it accordingly so it looks visually appealing and all the customer needs to do now is click on the gallery and click inside this block here and they can start uploading new images to their gallery when they need to which is fantastic because this means it's a lot more effortless for them it's going to save them a lot of time a lot of headaches and they get a website that they are happy with and they can continue uploading content to so here we are at a book with us page which all of our call to actions get driven to this page and they've got two cottages that they can choose from and now previously one of the problems that they had with their old website was it actually had a booking system implemented into it and you know sometimes that's the best way to go but actually for this business they struggled to know how to use it and that kind of meant that they lost out on a few sales because you know people would make bookings um, or they didn't get confirmed um, so they, they basically just lost out on a lot of customers so off the back of that one thing they said was they actually send pretty much all our customers to a third-party booking system so we thought well why not just send all of the customers from the website to this third-party booking system that they use anyway and just remove the whole uh, integrated booking system from the website and we can just direct them to this third-party page so that's exactly what we do is we've got the two cottages here that people can book and we've got a link here that just links off to a third-party website that's going to allow them to book so the website becomes essentially a driver to allow customers to book on this platform, take payment and things like that. So this now means that the, the, the business only has one booking solution that they need to worry about. All of the bookings come to one place and it's a lot easier for them to manage moving forward. So the other main area that this website has been able to add value to this business is the find us section. So they're located in a pretty specific location and Google Maps didn't often get their customers to their location which meant that they would receive a lot of phone calls from people frustrated who are lost because they can't find them so we put together this finders now page essentially which has their address has their contact details has a google map pinpointing where they are but more importantly what we've actually got here is what three words and this is a tool that allows them to share three words with a customer that's going to specifically pinpoint on a map where they need to be and then they can find them quite easily so we've included that onto the website as well now aside from this site looking and feeling great when you're on it uh, giving a nice uh, user experience it's really focused on allowing people to book a stay with the business or, or you know visit the gallery or find them if they need to it's really answering a lot of problems it's really giving a resolution to a lot of problems that their last website had, which was really important. The website now completely represents what the business has to offer. People can now easily find them, which is a huge plus. They're no longer gonna have lost bookings coming through from the website because all of the bookings are sent through to the third party booking system. And they're always gonna have an up-to-date gallery, which they can update. <laughs> And they're always going to have an up-to-date gallery which they can update themselves so we're super happy with this project it's as i said in the previous video one of our smaller projects um but nonetheless the impact is still pretty huge uh, so yeah hopefully you found that really useful it just gives you an idea of what a website looks like once it's built off the back of seeing the design stage it gives you an insight of how this has been set up in elementor and also I wanted to take the opportunity to really share with you the value that this website has brought to the business which uh, is how you should be thinking when you are delivering a website to a business. You know, websites are business marketing tools and they should be used in that respect so use them to solve the problems that business is having. Now if you like these types of videos where you get a bit of an insight into my agency and the business then let me know down in the comments. Um, hit the thumbs up as well if you really enjoyed it and maybe the more likes that it gets the more I'll put out with this style of content where I'm running you through in depth the decisions behind why we have done things for a business and how things have been set up and things like that. Now as I say guys hopefully you have found some value in this and there are loads of other videos on my channel as well which are designed 
to help you with your website design business, uh, improving sales, improving your design capabilities and things like that. So make sure you go and check those out. There are more videos coming up on the end screen, so make sure you go and check those out. You're gonna find a lot of value in those as well. And I will see you in the next video.